Hi, I'm Sonia and joined to Room so this is a collective reading for Gemini. Welcome, Gemini. So don't try and force the crown to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else and know that it can be flipped around for, with the person you're dealing with. So I'd like to say hi to all my viewers. It's so cool to have you guys on, you know, watching and to know that I really love doing my readings for you and it really brings me joy and um and also please be careful of scammers know that i will not reach out to you for a paid reading you have to reach out to me first and i will also be, be careful not to click on any strange links in the in the comment section as these well. cards are mystic dream and tarot by heidi duras and barbara moore and these ones here are right away tarot by Hi by pamela coleman smith so you looks like you've had this ending here could have been with a Scorpio and it looks like that this person was somebody that was focused overly focused on money maybe materialistic could have been that their work was more important this is Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy so earth sign but also um, someone that was focused on material wealth more than anything else so this probably could have been that this there was an ending with someone that was really Kind of could have been a business person or someone that really valued work. This person is also a bit wounded, so this could be that you are wounded after this ending, or that this other person was wounded as well. So, because this is a wounded warrior, so this has been probably quite painful. This ending here that you've been dealing with, it could have been that they didn't really want to give. This is like it's an ending. And so it's a new beginning. So this could be that they didn't want to give, but this is actually spirits blessing you here with this equal give and take. So if this person from the past didn't want to give, there's somebody new that's coming in that that you're actually getting, this is like a, a, a blessing that you're getting from spirit. So this is actually that you are getting, uh, this could be a donation even. This is like, there's someone's trying to, they wants to give you some sort of donation to sort of help you in this new beginning here. Because this is also you moving forward into this new, this is like you moving into karma water. So it must be that you've had a hard time and there's someone else that wants to come in and help you. They want to kind of balance, balance the scales and they want to help you into this new sort of, um, they want to help you to move forward into karma waters. So this could be that you're getting equal, equal give and take as well. And this is like the balancing of the scales after this painful ending because it's like an ending but it's a new beginning as well so recently the challenge has been that you've oh so this is actually there's a bit of a challenge the challenge is this full card so this is somebody that wants to take a leap of faith towards you there's somebody that's had a painful ending so this could have been that you have probably had a painful ending because there's definitely been an ending that you've had recently this is also healing so this is healing after this painful ending so but the interesting thing about this full card is that we have two full cards so this could be that you maybe there's like someone really wants to take a leap of faith towards you or maybe it's that you're kind of both wanting to take a leap of faith towards each other whoever this is so this is somebody that has possibly so this is a clarifier right this is the actual card full you know so that's like taking a leap of faith and starting a new journey so maybe there's like that two people have had an ending and they're both setting out on a new journey and that maybe there's someone who is well it looks, it looks like this is wish fulfillment as well so you're getting wish fulfillment you're, you're healing from this painful ending and this is you kind of like being independent here and this is also like really happiness so someone else is seeing you maybe that they want to kind of take a leap of faith towards you because you're also looking very strong so you've had this ending but it's like you're very strong now it could be that somebody that you've had an ending with is wanting to come and leap, take a leap of faith towards you this is like leo energy as well so um this is also someone manifesting so this is like a message about manifesting so you're manifesting something here maybe it's that someone's trying to take wants to take a leap of faith towards you they're seeing that you're healing and they're seeing that you've had a painful ending they want to take a leap of faith towards you because they maybe see you as a wish fulfillment so this could be that someone you've manifested something and that you're very strong now and that this is actually somebody who is wanting to you're wanting to start on a new journey you're really looking about um about starting out onto something new <clears throat> 
So the distant past is that you've had some heartbreak. You really have been dealing with some hard, heartbreaking times. It looks like there's some you've been trying to juggle a lot as well. So this is you trying to heal heartbreak as well as juggle everything else. And this is like you really had a hard time. And it's like you've had to do a lot on your own, it looks like. You've like really experienced some heartbreaking times and you really have um, had some, you know, like some, some hurtful stuff that you've had to experience. But the beautiful thing is, this is actually the card that we're dealing with. So this is um, marriage. So this is actually like the Hierophant. So it's like um, order. It's like religious order. And this is like happily ever after. So this is, um, wow, this is like a healing relationship. And this is marriage. So it's like you have either had this in the past, which is like being loving, healing relationship, or happily ever after marriage. And that this is actually that it's been a painful ending or some sort of painful heartbreak that you've had as well that you've maybe had after this relationship or it could be that it's coming in for you because you've also done a lot. You've had to do a lot on your own as well. So this could be something that you've had in the past or something that's coming in for you in the future. So once you probably heal from the heartbreak, maybe that could be something coming in for you if that's not something you already had. Wow, how beautiful. So recently, this you've had, um, you've been in a time of suspension. This is also, you've seen things from, from a different perspective. So it could be that in the past you had this beautiful, happy relationship, but recently you've sort of seen things from a different view. And this is like you've been waiting, you know, like in this time of waiting, because it's like you've had this, you're in this time of healing where you've needed to go, go within and actually heal from something here. This is like, withdrawing and also really contemplating as well so because it looks like you've actually had a bit of trickery and thievery recently that you've been dealing with and it's kind of like got you you're at this crossroads here so this is also a liar cheater stealer so this could be just somebody that was dishonest and they didn't really they weren't completely honest and maybe it's that you've had an ending here and this actually is somebody now that's disappointed so this is actually focused on this past disappointment I'm missing out on this beautiful gift here. This is like so. It could be that you've dealt with some sort of a, some sort of betrayal recently, and that this has got you at a crossroads now, and you're kind of really quite sad because maybe this is like past heartbreak you've been focused on, and like not being able to get this beautiful loving um, this cup that this is like a blessing that gift that's been given. So it could have been that someone else rejected your offer, somebody rejected your love offer, so you're actually manifesting something in this new. This is um. Holding the wand in your hand and manifesting, so like ready for something new. So you're really seeing it from a different perspective now and you're realising it wasn't as beautiful as you thought, maybe. So this is you thinking about your options. You kind of maybe have been overthinking things and a little bit like an illusion. So this is could be that you've been thinking about the past where you have actually been fooled because you actually had two, two fools so but this is actually like um you could be sort of you could have kind of not seen things for how they were and actually like you've kind of been in a bit of a dream world so look this person's kind of like daydreaming down there and sort of dreaming at all the cups and thinking ah oh. but actually this is like there's illusions so these this really hasn't been as you expected this hasn't really been what you thought it was so there's somebody that is um, actually crying and really quite upset here. So there's somebody that maybe cast illusions and it was kind of fake. This person's crying over spilt milk here and they're really kind of um, feeling quite low. This person has not really um, taken a leap of faith. They have not. They maybe it could be that this another person made it the wrong option, took chose the wrong option. So now they're actually they didn't take a leap of faith with you. You know they didn't trust, and now they're actually quite sad about it. You know, so they're very sad, especially now that they're seeing you know that you're they're seeing that you're actually a soulmate, and that you're this abundance energy. This is like, this is a real abundance. And they're the, the seeing that you're very strong. And you're really, um, this is also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So they're seeing now that there's a soulmate, that you're a soulmate that they didn't actually take a leap of faith towards. And this is that you're very strong. So you've healed and you're actually, you know, got strong boundaries that you're not going to, you're not accepting 
any sort of, um, you know, small offers where, you know, if someone doesn't come correct. So this person didn't actually take a leap of faith. It was a bit too late if they did. And now they're, cry they're kind of crying over spilt milk because they had you in this kind of dreamland where you didn't really see the truth. And it was like all a bit of a, a bit of an act. It was like all a bit of illusion, you know. So it wasn't actually real. So you're definitely thinking about your options because in the future you have this is a new love coming in. So you have new love coming in in the future, but it's also interesting because we have two options here. So you definitely have options. So this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And this is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So there's two, two masculine energies here who maybe they're options that you have. So you do have options because you are this beautiful empress. This is so you could be any of these people. So this is masculine energies here. Um, this person is very good in business. This could have been the person from the beginning who was very focused on money. But this person here is very charming and good looking as well and they're quite fiery, passionate and this person here is feminine energy, someone that embodies all the queens of the deck, somebody that is very abundant, very fertile and able to manifest new things. This person is very attractive and very amazing, like very, um, somebody very grounded, abundant, nurturing, loving energy. So there's also, um, one of these people so this is new love as well so you have this beautiful empress who is very attractive so somebody has definitely missed the opportunity so they're focused on the past and now they missed their the cup of love so this could be that this past person you're dealing with has missed this opportunity they, they rejected your offer and this is also they walked away from you they just really um betrayed you and kind of just walked off and um really been dishonest as well looks like so you're really, um, at the moment you're fearing this energy. So this is someone that can be inconsistent. So you have these options in love in the future, but you really have fears about um, people that are kind of like play energy. People that are hot and cold and you're, so it's like you've had some past disappointments where people have been very inconsistent. They haven't been there for the long haul. It could be that, you know, you've had a lot of, um, difficulty in, in relationships it could be that these people that you had were wounded and that you were this loving energy that 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 they attracted these wounded people this is masculine energy here this person but it's actually so this is actually just um, a young energy so someone that is still quite immature but it's also it's a passionate it's like it's a passionate new beginning but it's kind of like you're fearing it, sort of, you know. This is actually like um, you're really wanting to, this passion at the beginning. But at the same time, you're worried about inconsistency. People that come and go hot and cold and really are not there for, to build, you know. They just come and go and they're really just, um, you know, not actually consistent and not really there to stay. So it's like they're all after passion, but this is you starting out with this magic wand and you're manifesting. But you're very abundant as well. So you're you're independent here. So this is actually you're you're fearing you're fearing these these people that are inconsistent. So you're actually choosing to stay single and working on yourself and really loving yourself and like this is taming the bird on your hand. So this is actually like you've tamed your you know the inner beast you know but this is also you're very abundant so this abundance is not only about money but it's also about happiness and being happy on your own single and knowing that you're okay and it's a passion at you beginning that you're having on your own and loving yourself more so others see you as um a libra maybe this could be that you're quite fear you're a very fair person and you have, you know, maybe it's that you could be having a court situation or something like that. It could be that, you know, also that it looks like you're celebrating that you, uh, you know, this could be that you're, you know, having good time with your friends and that this is like a balancing of the scales. And here is like, this is three of wands. So this is actually like looking out into the future and really seeing that you have this beautiful, these ships are coming in here. This is celebrating with the girls. And it's also that you are manifesting this. So 
you're manifesting good times and like balancing of the scales and it could be that there's this other people see that you're going through a time where you're balancing stuff out so this is actually you're manifesting here and this is your, you're like holding the magic wand and you're holding the world in your hands so you really are starting out on this new beginning and that this is actually your ships coming in here this is also that you've got maybe this new financial stability coming in. So this is actually a message about new, you know, abundance. You know, like it's like a new job or new sort of um, financial stability. So that's like the balancing. So you re really are getting, um, you know, this is things, the scales balancing out in your favour. So this is um, like your hopes. So you're hoping that there's a new beginning in financial stability. So this is like messages about finances or like abundance. So this is not only it's not only about money, but it's also about abundance and like joy and happiness. So this is that you are setting out on this new beginning. This is like a new journey or it's like a financial um, like a financial gain. So you're hoping that you can sort of move into this time where things are going to be more financially stable. This is also you kind of got, setting out on a journey. This could be that you are going and, you know, going for a trip somewhere and you're really moving forward. It could be that you're going traveling even. And there's also like there's some two new beginnings here as well. This is a new beginning in love and like starting out on a new journey. So this is also speaking your truth and seeing the truth of things. This is like new love coming in for you. And this is like a teacher. This could be a new teacher that's coming in. This is also cancer energy. And this is Virgo energy. So this is like someone that's coming in to be a teacher for you. Could be that you are a mentor to others and you teach others. But this is also some masculine energy who is a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. So this could be that you have a new teacher that's coming in and that you're moving forward with this person. Masculine energy as well. So, But you have to be very patient because it's like spirits saying that you're not actually being very patient. And you keep thinking, when is this coming in? When is this coming in? So like, it's like they're really saying to you to be patient, not to question when, when, when. So please, um, you know, just know that things are, this is a message about abundance and that things are going to, there's some new beginnings that are coming in for you, but you have to stop asking when. So the outcome here is that you have manifested something and it's coming in now. This is you also here that we are holding the magic wand and this is actually showing that things are actually manifesting so this is a manifestation that you've got here this is like you're holding the magic wand you're at a crossroads as well so this is like you trying to manifest something and this is like your ships coming in here this is actually it goes two three four so this is actually two three four so really that you're going up in um you know numbers as well so this is like a union here this is like um, like coming together and celebrating together and it's like actually that you are uh, um, this could be a counterpart union here where it's like marriage and celebrations friends coming together family coming together as well to celebrate this is also things that have been hidden here so this could be that you have been um, things that you weren't aware of so this is you seeing the truth of things and you're kind of manifesting something new this is maybe that there's somebody that's coming forward that you were not aware of that's you know wanting to come into union with you this is you going traveling getting in your car and moving forward as well like really moving forward and you're doing so much work as well so this is actually something you're manifested as well so this is like coming in for you this is like happily ever after celebrations but it's also that you've worked so hard for this and this is your blessing that's coming in so very happy for you bye